All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, we're talking about the Walker project. So in part one, we talked about how to develop the Walker symbol. Uh, remember that that is a movie clip symbol. All right, uh, here in the second part of this, then, all right, we're going to develop the background motion. So we're gonna take a look at how to put the sidewalk and the buildings together, all right, to give us that, uh, that infinite, movement, all right, that looping movement uh, where it seems like our uh, little stick figure guy is walking down the street forever. All right, so let's take a look at how to do that. All right, so when we last left our hero, he looked something like this. We're going to hide him first, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer, and that layer is going to be the sidewalk layer. So we're going to create the sidewalk first. I'll show you how to do that. And then we will uh, take a look at how to create the buildings next. All right, so, so the sidewalk is pretty straightforward. It's just a rectangle. All right, I'm going to select a gray color for my rectangle. I'm going to uh, make it, you know, slightly, the rectangle is going to be slightly longer than my stage. It's going to spill off the stage a little bit. Okay, and then uh, the sidewalk, I'm going to put in some dividers for that. So my dividers will be black. All right, I'm going to use the paintbrush for that. I'm going to use a little bit thinner uh, stroke for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add vertical stripes every once in a while all right, to, my, uh, to my rectangle. Okay, they don't necessarily have to be, you know, the same length or anything like that. If you want to be a little neater than this, that's fine. You can press and hold the shift key as you draw. Uh, and doing so will give you uh, straight horizontal and straight vertical lines. Okay, so at this point what we have is we have the beginnings of a sidewalk, right? So I'm going to bring my walker back and uh, reposition the sidewalk below my walker. Right? And uh, we'll worry about the, uh, you know, the, the exact positioning in a moment. Uh, what we want to do here, though, all right, is think about the mechanics of our sidewalk. If we were to uh, turn the sidewalk into a symbol right now and add a motion tween to this, right? So we would add a motion tween, and this sidewalk would move to the left. What would happen is that we would very quickly run out of sidewalk, right? Which is no good. Okay, uh, we do not want to get to the end of the sidewalk. All right. So what we want to do is the trick to uh, the trick to this kind of repeating action is that the sidewalk that we draw is actually going to be twice as long as what we need. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here real quick um, so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so I'm going to basically select the sidewalk that we just drew. Remember, this is just an unprotected object right now. I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to copy. Okay, and then I'm going to paste, not paste in place, but paste another copy of the sidewalk. Okay. And then I'm going to move that sidewalk over and align it with the first sidewalk. All right, so I want to make sure that, um, that they're lined up correctly. All right. So they look something like that. Okay. So we have a sidewalk that is basically twice as long as what we need. There we go. Okay, we want it to, to line up correctly. All right, so what's happening here is we have that sidewalk, and it's twice as long as what we need. We're going to turn this whole thing into a symbol. All right. So this is my sidewalk. And then we're going to add a motion tween to this. All right, now it's important that we understand how the sidewalk is going to line up. Since we have basically two equal halves of the sidewalk, what's going to happen is we want, this is the rightmost 
edge of our original sidewalk, and then this is the rightmost edge of the copy. So what we want to do is we want to bring this edge of the sidewalk as close to this part of the sidewalk as possible when we create our motion tween. And what's nice about Flash is that Flash gives us that preview shadow of where the part used to be, where the sidewalk used to be. So we're going to line it up. We're going to account for a little bit of movement. I don't want it to be fully, you know, right where it was, but we're going to be pretty close to it a little before. And I want to line up the shadows. All right. So our sidewalk is going to move like so. Okay, now we do want the sidewalk to move uh, at uh, about three seconds worth of, uh, worth of movement. All right, so we're going to extend this uh, motion tween out to frame 72. So we have about three seconds worth of movement uh, like so. We can go ahead and test this real quick and see what we have. Okay, and we can see that our sidewalk is doing this thing. Now we're getting that flash, and that's okay, all right, because the other frame, the other layers aren't quite lined up yet. But we're in good shape here, right? Our sidewalk looks like it's moving well. It doesn't look like it's popping or anything, so we're in good shape so far. All right, now the walker itself, all right, we're going to extend him. Remember that he's not going to go anywhere. We're going to extend his layer, all right, to the full 72 frames. So we're going to position the um, uh, the cursor here, right? We're going to select frame 72. We're going to press F5, okay? And we are going to move this guy. Let me let me re zoom here. All right, we're going to move this guy up a little bit so he's more or less in the center of the sidewalk. All right, so this is what we have going on so far. Okay, and the building flash in the background. We're going to take care of that in a second, right? But Here's our guy walking down the sidewalk, and that looks pretty good so far. Okay. And then the buildings. All right, so um, the buildings, basically, we're going to develop the exact same way that we did with the sidewalk. All right, so I took the liberty, right, you know, I didn't want to bore you guys uh, with, you know, the drawing of the first half of the buildings. But basically what I did was I set up my buildings... All right, and I drew these guys as an unprotected object, okay, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to position these guys, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of the positioning in a second. All right, but basically exactly the same thing that we did with the sidewalk, all right, is we drew half of the buildings first, and then we're going to copy that half. Again, if we start to move these guys, right, we're going to run out of building. All right, with the motion tween. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy these guys. All right. We're going to paste these guys. All right. We're going to zoom out so we can see all of them. And then we're going to position these guys with the back end of the buildings. All right. So I want them to be pretty much lined up like so. Okay. So a little low. That right. Okay. So we have, again, basically twice the number of buildings that we need. And at this point, what we need to do is turn these buildings into a symbol, right? So I'm going to select uh, all the uh, buildings, okay, and turn them into a symbol. Modify, convert to symbol. Okay, whoops. Building row. All right, and we're good there. All right, so I'm going to unhide my other layers so I can uh, line these guys up. I'm still going to lock the sidewalk and the walker layer right now, uh, but I do want these uh, buildings to be, you know, kind of positioned in the right spot. All right. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to start him off kind of like so, a little bit off to the right. Okay. And that's probably good there. All right, we're going to add a motion tween. So again, the same technique. We want the right-hand side of the building to get to, all right, uh, where the original buildings 
end, all right, which is here. All right, so we're going to add a motion tween, create motion tween. Okay, we're going to drag him uh, to that spot. All right, so again, I can see where the original buildings were. I want it just a little bit short, all right, of where, uh, where they're going to be or where, they're gonna, where the original buildings were. All right, because I want that smooth mo motion. All right, and then I do want to make sure that this motion tween is the same length as everything else. All right, so when we move, all right, we get something that looks like that. All right, good so far. Okay, um, so let's take a look at what we have so far. So we have something that looks like this, which is good. All right. So there's a little bit of a gap here between my buildings and my sidewalk. So I'm going to adjust that down a little bit. All right. So I'm going to go back to frame number one for the buildings. Okay. And I'm going to drop him a little bit. There. Okay. And then I have to do the same thing on the last uh, frame because remember that we are dealing with uh, frame by frame animation and Flash does need to know where, you know, the beginnings and ends of each one of these um, uh, symbols are. Okay, so there we go. We have our movement so far. Everything's good so far. Looking good. All right, we're going to finish this up. We're going to add a, we're going to color the stage blue. Okay, so I'm actually going to add a new layer here. Uh, we're going to add some background elements. All right, so if we take a look at the original uh, project, again, what I had was I had a kind of a blue sky, which is just stage color. I have a sun in the sky. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add those elements. All right, so uh, we get back to flash here. I'm going to hide these guys, these layers. All right, let me get back to 100%. I'm going to color my stage blue. Okay, make it a nice blue sky kind of day. And I am going to also, uh, on this uh, one layer, I'm going to draw uh, my sun, all right, which is just something that I like to do. All right, so uh, there we go, right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw the sun. So we've, I, you've seen me do this before, all right? We draw the sun that's a little bit bigger than the stage. All right, and I'm going to fill that in in a second. All right, my second grade art teacher will be so proud. go. We're going to bucket that guy in. All right. And then in terms of the name on the project, which remember you, you should have a name or you, want, you should have a name. Yes. All right. I put the name on my building. You can put the name wherever you want. I put the name on one of my buildings. So it scrolls by. Okay. Uh, we unhide all the layers and this is what we have so far. So finish product, command, enter, control, enter. All right. And that's what we have. We have a guy walking down the street. Right, uh, kind of bopping along. We have our buildings uh, scrolling in the background. We have our sidewalk, all right, which is uh, kind of lined up uh, with the buildings. And there he goes. All right, so we have a finished product there. So again, a combination of the motion, uh, a movie clip symbol, all right, which is our walker, and then scene level motion tweens um, for our building and our sidewalk. And we have a a decent looking project at this point. All right, so if you guys have any issues, uh, let me know, please uh, come for extra help. Uh, if not, um, that's it. All right, enjoy this project and we'll see you on the next one.